What's going on guys? If you're like me, sometimes you're painting a miniature and you can feel it in your wrist or hand or forearm. And this video, I'm gonna help you ease that pain. So just follow along and watch for a couple minutes and we'll be out of here. So I've been doing a lot of push-ups lately and because of that, my wrist is bent as I'm pushing on the ground and I'm getting quite a bit of pain in my carpals in my wrist and my uh, ulna here on the forearm bone, which is down the pinky side of the forearm. Sorry for my white skin being blinding, but anyway, uh, this is like an injury from working out, but sometimes it makes it a little difficult to be doing miniatures because you're doing a lot of wrist, especially dry brushing, you could be doing a lot of wrist motions, air brushing, you could be, you know, using the dexterity of your hand and wrist are uh, valuable in painting and fingers, of course. So anyway, to try to combat this, I have been doing push-ups on my fist. So fist down, which keeps my wrist straight. But anyway, it's still been acting up a little bit. So I wanna share with you white flower oil, which you can tell I use it quite a bit. And I'm gonna have a link to this on Amazon if you want to check it out. This oil is pretty awesome. Uh, I learned about it, she's probably 18 years ago almost when I did uh, martial arts in college. And uh, this is white flower oil or white flower balm oil. And it's really pretty great. Like it's kind of a Chinese medicine cure-all. I think it's actually from Vietnam or Thailand. Uh, I'm should have looked that up beforehand but uh i just want to share some things with you it's really good for cramps aches and pains uh, muscle aches it also has a few other side uses um for alleviating things like itching if you get bit by a mosquito or a bug uh, you can rub it on your temples if you have a headache you can rub it on your chest for kind of a vix vapo rub kind of sensation and uh, you could even put a little bit on your upper lip and just the powerful powerful smell of this can help alleviate things like motion sickness and things like that anyway you might be a little skeptical because <clears throat> obviously I can't read what this even says it does say white flower right there but uh, on the back here it is wintergreen menthol camphor as the inactive ingredients and inactive is eucalyptus, peppermint, and lavender. And this is a 20 mil bottle. So it's pretty big, it's lasting me quite a while. And it's really pretty awesome. Like it really heats up, like you feel it. It has a really powerful scent. Um, I actually like the smell, but it really can warm up. Like you put it on an area and I don't know if it's a combination of the mint and menthol but also I feel like maybe it activates a lot of blood flow to the area and it can really, really heat up the area and just gives you a nice soothing, relaxing feel. Now, unfortunately, I've been using it for quite a while and it has not cured my wrist pain because I'm still continuing to do the workouts but uh, and paint. So it's not a cure-all, but let's say right now my wrist is acting up or my hand was cramping my fingers were cramping, my forearm, something like that, tennis elbow, whatever. I could put this on, and I'll demonstrate that for you. And then after I put it on, that warming, soothing sensation, you know, I could just keep painting. So, yes, it's not going to go away completely. It's not going to totally numb the area, but it's really, really effective. I'll give you one warning. One time I applied this, I used to have a lot of back pain in college also. I think it was from the dorm beds. And one time I used to take these really, really hot showers where you sit in and you just slowly turn up the heat. And then as it, you get used to it, you turn up the heat again and again and again until it's like way too hot for you, but you adjust it to it slowly over like half an hour or whatever. But uh, so I used to take these scolding hot showers to try to make my back feel better. And then <clears throat> I put a whole bunch of this on my back and it literally felt like I lit myself on fire. And I think maybe just because of the hot water had opened up my pores so much and then rubbing this in, it felt like 
my back had been ignited in flames and I had to roll around on the bed trying to rub it off and get it off and it was so painful. So if you take scalding hot showers, maybe wait to apply this a little bit. But uh, here you go, I'm gonna show you. It's pretty simple, like it has a kind of a push down child safety kind of lid, which apparently stops. And you got that here, right? Oh, if you could smell this. Maybe let me just rub it under the camera. If you're familiar with this, this is uh, one of those products that if you've used it before, you can, seeing this right now open, you can smell it in your brain. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, you would just apply it. It doesn't pour out like, well, here, let me, like here it is upside down. It doesn't just dump, dump out of the bottle because it's more of like an oil. It has like a dropper. And uh, looks like I might have missed and put some on the desk there. But anyway, so you just put that on and then what you can do is just rub it in. And like I get a pain in the ulna bone kind of right around here. So I use my knuckles and I'll just kind of rub into that bone. And then you can use it pretty much anywhere, right? Any muscle, it's gonna be similar to any of your like Tiger Balm or any of your other products you might be familiar with, lidocaine. But anyway, it's gonna heat up as I applied it there. And it's just gonna soothe the area and feel really nice. So if you're somebody that struggles with painting, hand cramps while you're painting or airbrushing or something. Something like this isn't too expensive. It lasts a really long time uh, and it's really pretty pleasant. And I just figured I'd share it with you because I know a lot of people, you know, you want to enjoy painting and if you have some discomfort, you might not enjoy it as much as, you know, you deserve. So hopefully you check this out if you like it. If you have another product that you've maybe tried this and you have another product you think is even better, uh, definitely let me know because I would love to check it out. Uh, and like I said, this one, I mean, it's natural ingredients, you know, menthol, wintergreen, and uh, camphor, which I don't know what that is, but eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender. So, you know, it's kind of an essential oil situation here. It's not super toxic chemicals, and it's safe to use externally. So definitely check it out. And according to the back here, it is made in Hong Kong. So not Thailand or Vietnam, Hong Kong. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My wrist and forearm are already cooking, so it's already working. I think I'm going to get a few more models primed tonight, and it's all thanks to the White Flower Bomb. Hopefully you check it out.